So today's project day. Uh, it's May 15th, 2020. Today's my day off. Uh, second day in a row we've had this uh, fabulous nice weather. It looks like uh, the real spring has, has arrived and uh, ushering in summer. Uh, so our, our days of uh, 30 degrees or, or under are behind us, well behind us. And this stretch for the next, till fall, is when the bees were gonna build up and start producing our honey and doing the things. But for the next couple of weeks, what I have to concentrate on, and I just have to let the bees be the bees and let them build up and do their thing. And if they need more room, then I'll give them a little bit more room, but no stealing from hives. Just let them build and let them do their thing. But, uh, you know, I'm still gonna poke my nose in, take a look at what's going on, because that's always important to do. Uh, but I need to let them build for the next couple of weeks and then I'll really start my queen rearing program. Now I just did uh, a short little project over there, phase two of my, uh, of my um, queen timing box project. Um, kind of as it turns out, probably didn't even need to do phase one uh, as it turns out because the bees really haven't gone down into the lower box too much. But today all I did, uh, I installed the queen excluder move the queen down into the lower box into her confined three frame area uh, and put a queen excluder down and then um, put the box of bees back on top of her. So she'll be well cared for, she'll start laying and then I'll start rotating frames over the next couple, next couple of weeks. Uh, I'll let her lay for four or five days and then I'll, uh, I'll rotate a new frame in probably every five, four or five days if I can get to it. If I can't, well, you know, I gotta do what I gotta do when I can do it, but at least once a week. But today, since there's not a lot of beekeeping to do, what I'm going to do is work on projects. Today's a good project day, and uh, it's too nice out. Well, very too nice. We're gonna get close to 70 degrees today. Uh, way too nice out not to do my projects outside. Um, so I got a couple boxes in uh, yesterday. I'm expecting some more packages today. I'll update this video as, as it gets going. But first and foremost, uh, for those of you waiting um, on the beekeeper tool belt, or I have a whole bunch made up now. So uh, all I'm doing was waiting on this box to arrive right here and uh so that i can finish the project and get your um get your tool pouch uh sent out to you so i finally got that order in today and uh i gotta make up my queen cages and uh so i've got the roller cages came in so i've got to get uh you know the, i gotta put these together with the corks and uh so I can send them out with the uh, with the hive tool pouches. So that's what I was waiting on. Um, also, going to need this for this little do ditty right here. Um, kind of been wanting this for a couple years, but honestly, I didn't need it. Um, but I wanted it, so I finally had the money, and uh, so I went and bought it. So let's open her up and take a look. And this is for queen rearing. I looked all over for, for, for one of these, but I just couldn't find one. Uh, you know, I guess you could say made in America. Uh, so I had to do what I had to do at an affordable price. Cause you know, I'll be honest with you. I don't need to spend a ton of money on, on this. Box in a box. I don't think they could have just taped this shut and slapped a mailer on it. It's 
Ta-da! I went and bought a an incubator for my queen rearing. This is to finish queen cells. It smells like fresh plastic, so I know it's not used. This uh, incubator actually comes with a power cord, uh, an AC power cord, plugging it into an outlet, and a DC power cord for plugging it into your vehicle uh, should you want to transport this uh, queen cells uh, out to your apiaries. So kind of a nice little feature, not very big, um, you know, I think it'll fit in the back of my pickup truck, no problem. Uh, I wouldn't want to put it in my back seat at all because it would probably be tip over, but um, has a little has a little slide in tray right here. And what you do in this tray right here is you uh, pour a little water to keep the humidity set. Now the downside to this unit that I found is that it's only in Celsius. Um, so it's just a simple conversion. So around 33, 34 degrees is what, what, what you shoot for to get around 93 to 94 degrees Fahrenheit uh, with, it, with the conversion. So you want to keep it there. Uh, there's an, a, you know, an up button, a down button, and then there's a light on there as well. Uh, and then, of course, the on-off button is right here. But um, not much to it. You know, I'm not, not going to... I'm not going to be, you know, producing a ton of queens here. So just a couple of shelves is really all I needed um, for my queen rearing. And uh, you know, it, it, it'll it'll do my you know 20, 30 cells uh, just fine in there. I think. I hope. But uh, that's another thing, you know, reason why I bought these roller cages, because this is what I'm going to be using to uh, incubate these queens in these roller cages with the uh, JZBZ cups on the, on the bottom side. But I got to build something so that these fit uh, in here real nice and slide in. Um, You know, I don't know, I probably can get 530 on the top shelf there. I don't even know if the bottom shelf, it is tall enough for these. Um, but not a lot of room for a stand there, so we'll have to see how that goes. See how it works. But, uh, you know, like I said, I'm only going to be raising 20 cells at a time, maybe, if that. 10 cells at a time, probably, more, more than likely. Uh, I only have 21 queen um, uh, two-frame mating nukes, so I can't really overdo it. So I might just do 10 and 10, and then uh, and then maybe by the uh, the second week, if the queens are laying on the first batch, I can shift those over to uh, four-frame boxes or five-frame nukes, and then start another batch in a couple of weeks from there. But real happy I got this. Um, I don't even know what the manufacturer's name is on here. Doesn't say anywhere. Reptile Pro. So this was actually for uh, reptile eggs, snake eggs, lizard eggs, and stuff like that. But it'll work for queen, for uh, queen rearing and queen incubation. So we're gonna go from that. And like I said, these hair roller cages will come in handy. <coughs> not only for my for my project um, tool pouch project but also for this as well for my queen rearing so um, bees behind me uh, busy today bringing in pollen uh, I was a little I was in there last week when it got when it was before it got cold and uh, or after it got cold and they looked like they had gotten down a bit 
Uh, I was worried that I lost the queen in that colony, but with them bringing in lots of pollen that I can see right now, that means that they have a queen in there. They wouldn't be bringing pollen in if they, if they didn't have uh, larvae to feed. So that's a good sign. I'll poke my nose into that one too here in a little bit and take a look at what's going on. So uh, another project coming up, like I said, I'm expecting uh, um, delivery of my uh, nuke boxes today. So I got to put those together so that I can wax them. On Sunday, it's supposed to pour rain, so I don't know if I'm going to get the waxing done this Sunday. But if I do, I'm going to I have to drive a, a, an hour and, and sit with them for three hours while they well while, while, while we dip the, the boxes in the wax. Excited about that, and I'm going to film it too. I'm also expecting another surprise package for myself. Uh, I bought a new vlogging camera, and uh, it's going to have a little bit better video, a little bit better audio for me, and. Uh, and it'll take a lot better pictures for me, um, especially close-ups of, of frames and bees and whatnot. So happy, excited, excited to try that out. So hopefully it'll be delivered today and I'll be able to uh, uh, video opening that up and uh, checking it out. So I got delivery today. My nucleus colony boxes from Josh Cross at Cross Apiary. And uh, this is the only one that I could find that would make nuke boxes with uh, box joints. I'd make it myself, I just don't have the time anymore. But uh, this is a box just full of ends. Wow, he's even got a, it's got a, uh, it's not a smooth inside finish. It's, uh, it's grooved. Um, that's interesting. I've never seen that before, but I like it. I, I uh, you know, the bees can, can do their thing and they can adhere to it a lot easier and propolize it as needed. Just check it out. That's pretty cool. I've never seen that before. It's just got a slight, probably a 64th of an inch kind of groove to it. Wow, that's really slick. Okay. So these are all my end boards for my nucleus boxes. Okay, well. Just out of curiosity. That is exactly the dimension of a five frame box. Yep, yep, yep. Pretty cool. So now I have to glue, drill, and screw. I've got a lot of work cut out for me for all these. They're not pre-drilled. I do like that though, at these ends. The downside is there's no handles cut in them. Now this is what I was really excited about, to be honest with you. I really wanna show this off because this is going to be really, really, really cool. Okay. Oh, there's just a whole bunch of stuff. A lot. It's a big kit here, actually. 
So this is what I'm really, really, really excited about. This is the Canon EOS M50 digital uh, mirrorless camera. And uh, I got this specifically for vlogging and for taking pictures of bees and whatnot. And uh, very, very, very highly regarded camera. Now, there is a better one on the market, but uh, I just couldn't afford it. But in my price point, this is the camera that I was looking for here. Ooh, baby. This is it right here. That's my new camera. And, uh, I'm going to guess this is a lens for it. Now, it's not as big as a uh, DSLR camera because it's mirrorless, so it doesn't have to have the prisms or the mirror in there. It's di all digital, so it's a little bit smaller, but oh so cool. There we go. So this is how this works. Boom. Okay. That don't fit on there. This is kind of a cool, but here is my little camera here. So from now on, I'm going to be vlogging with this. And then this right here flips out. And as you're vlogging, you can turn the screen and watch yourself do whatever. So that's pretty cool. I have to put the battery in, but uh, this is really, 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 really cool.